What is good, Greg Gang? We're here today, and you know, it's actually a really cool day because I'm in a fishing tournament, okay? And that's why I'm doing the intro on a GoPro and I'm fishing, because I really don't have any time to waste by, you know, standing up, holding up a camera like this. I need to fish as much as possible, because it's not going to be an easy tournament. But this tournament that I'm in, it's a pretty special situation, I would say. And the reason is because, yeah, it is a high school tournament, but the FLW, the straight up the pros, it's a Saturday. The top 30 guys, they're here today too. And so not only am I fishing against other high schoolers, but in the back of my mind, you know, at the end of the day, I'm done hung up. Well, that ain't good. But what I'm going to do at the end of the day is I'm going to go home and compare my weights to the FLW weights and see how bad they beat me. Because, I mean, you know they're going to catch fish. That's why they're here. <laughs> if I'll just give you all a little context of what's been doing good here lately I mean it's took about 16 pounds 14 pounds a day to be you know getting to day three for the FLW But the cool thing is because it is an FLW and it's like pretty heavily like televised and advertised and stuff They put videos out of what they done on day one and day two and they've been throwing spinner baits into thick stuff like this So hopefully that's the deal. There's still a lot of people on the lake But for some reason like nobody came in here and that's fine with me. I may have this whole creek to myself that's best case scenario for me. Oh, there he is. Hurry. Oh my gosh. I just caught a fish. I'm not even done doing the intro. And dad, this is really cool because dad is like, he's not allowed to even touch my fish. Like he's not. In this high school tournament, he's not allowed to touch my stuff. But this is a spotted bass. Spotted bass, they've only got to be 12 inches. And I just got her first keeper, and I'm not even doing the intro to this video. Here we go, boys. That's a good way to start the day. He's he's not big. He's a spotted bass, but I'll give him a solid pound and a half. Use my cold tag right there. Got one keeper, boys. That's a pretty good start to the day. And like I was saying, guys, that's exactly what the FLW people was doing. I'm sort of spoiled today because I already know what they're biting. I'm weighing in today. He's right up there real shallow. Oh, there's another fish. I just had another fish. What in the world? Well, it ain't that easy, Dad. He came up and nipped the tail. I may need more flash. I may need more color. I don't know, but he sure did. He bit it. Maybe I can get him to bite again. He looked like another spotted bass, but honestly, I'll take them right now because they're pretty big. I don't think I'll need spotted bass if they keep up like this. If I can get any largemouth to bite at all, I believe I can do pretty good with just a bunch of largemouth. But like I was about to say, believe it or not, this exact spinnerbait I'm using, I got it in fan mail. So whoever sent that, thanks because it just caught me a fish and got me another bite really quick but anyways guys i'm gonna get the fish and hopefully i can get me a limit pretty early it's pretty windy too so sorry for the wind sounds you know what there's a good one. Oh my gosh hurry wait here give me the net because you're not even allowed to net them yeah you can reach it to me but on a jerk bait let's just play him right Get him up to the boat and get him in the boat. That's that's a good one there. That's what we needed, boys, right there. That's one we needed. Now, largemouth do have to be 15 inches, but I don't think we have to worry about that, do we? This guy's a keeper. Hopefully, we can call him, but yeah, that may be a task. There's number two, but we still need number three, four, and five. Nice. Get my dang rod. I just lost another rod. I quit. I'm going home. Lost the rod? Yep. It's in the bottom of the lake. I'm going home. Real too? Yep. I'm going home. I didn't see it. I quit. Absolutely, I quit. I'm going home. I'm going home. Well, you, I just lost two rods and two reel. It jumped off. I don't want it. I hope it dies. Piece of junk. Now, I have zero rods left. Awesome. You wanna hear a cool story? A really awesome story? You know the book of Jonah? Jonah was supposed to go into the city of Nineveh, right? And he really didn't want to though, did he? So he went outside in the desert, out to the city and sit there in the desert sorta. Of. And then God gave him a plant, came up and gave him shade. Cause it's real hot. And then the next day he sent a worm to go kill it and it got hot on him. They are both blessings after you look at them. One, the obvious one was the plant. He gave him shade, right? But the worm, it was a blessing because 
it focused his attention back on God, God will use distractions to get your attention, right? So even though it looks like it's a really bad thing right now, how I just lost two rods back to back, that's okay because, well, maybe that'll lead me into a bigger sponsor somehow. I don't know how it may do it, but that's just how things work. Even though something, a lot of bad things may be happening right now, that's okay because you, you never know. They could be working in to be something really good. Ain't that right? And yes, guys, you heard that right. I've lost two rods today. The one you saw, it literally just jumped out of the boat. I have no explanation for it, but this other one that y'all didn't see, I also broke another rod. And unfortunately, it was one of my favorite rods. It was my cranking setup. It's an Abu Garcia Veritas winch right here. And, uh, well, if you look up the rod, it's folded in half about, you know, two-thirds way through. Well, what happened was that we was out on Main Lake a little bit. It got really, really, really windy. I had one of my, <laughs> I had one of my compartments open, that one right there. I laid my rod down. I reached around to grab some pliers turn back and my rod is sticking straight up and the other half is inside the rod locker so well yeah death by wind i guess you could say it was not it was not fun okay it was sad it really was we lost two good soldiers today and well we can never replace them except we are we're gonna go and tackle warehouse here tonight and you know order about you know some good rods but another thing y'all didn't see is i've actually got a limit i've got five fish i have one good large mouth one uh, decent spotted bass and then three really 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 small spotted bass but they count and you know i got a limit so that's good the only problem is that we've not had a bite in about three hours but anyways guys i'm about to make a move make a hail mary decision try to go for a gigantic 12 pounder or something right now i'd say we have a solid seven pound bag right now Hmm. Wow. And that order to do it. Let's go see what we can do. Get your picture. Good And there they go. Okay, guys. Well, the tournament's over, but I mean, we're not done fishing, okay? I don't know if you can see this or not, but it's snowing outside. You can see it's snow. There's some on my shirt. Like, what is even going on? At least my chickens aren't dead, if you know what I mean. I'm honestly super surprised that the heat lamp's not blow. But I mean, guys, let's be for real. This is insane. But as y'all know, a few videos ago, I asked y'all to name my new chicken coop right here. And I said that the top comment is what we'll name it. Well, I don't really understand this but somehow the top comment was who else likes the video before watching it so i mean it got it did get the most likes it got like over 150 so i mean hey i guess the new chicken coop is called who likes the videos before watching i don't really know and i've done told mother nature this before and i'm tired of this and in protest of this crazy spring weather i'm going fishing anyway i'm going fishing it's so cold outside why why does it have to be this way <laughs> Mother Nature ain't stopping me. I ain't gonna let Mother Nature tell me what I can and can't do. Now, out here today, I'm just gonna be using the same spinnerbait I fished in the tournament. Now, I understand, guys, I only got two fish caches on camera. And honestly, and I'm not even lying about this, I caught about 15 or 16 that day. No lie. The only reason I didn't get it on camera is because it was like raining very hard. And I mean, the conditions, I'll be honest, guys, the conditions were straight off. Like, even the FLW people who talked about it, they said it was pretty hardcore, too. I'm talking like... The weather was bad, guys. It was real bad. But, I mean, the good thing about that is the fish just, you know, they really started biting. And that's where I actually upgraded for that other big largemouth that y'all saw in weigh in. Uh-oh. Had one right up on the bank. They may be getting ready to... Got him. What in the world? By golly, I just had two bites right here in a row. These fish are moving up shallow in this pond. I mean, it is snowing. But one thing that you do got to consider is that underwater... It's not snowing. I mean, that, like for real, guys, mine's blown, shots fired. It's not snowing underwater. 
and these fish honestly may not even know that it's snowing. I mean, yeah, the water temperature is dropping just a little bit, but it's honestly not affecting the bass as much as the snow is affecting us. Like the fish honestly don't even care. That's what happened yesterday in the tournament too. Even though it was raining hardcore on me, it wasn't raining underwater, so the fish didn't care. The fish just bit better. But speaking of the tournament yesterday, I came in, I had a total weight of like 10 and a half pounds. Well, day three of the FLW tournament was also that day. And I will say, I did beat one guy. Yes, I did beat an FLW pro. One out of 30, not many of them. But I mean, you never know, that guy could have had a bad day but I also had a bad day. I broke two rods and nearly had a mental breakdown because of it. And whenever I say mental breakdown, I'm serious, guys. I sit down in the bottom of the boat and literally literally cried for 30 minutes. And then I heard a bass bust on top water, jumped up, made that inspiring speech, guys. I'm telling you guys, that speech got me pumped. And then I went out, and like I said, guys, hey, I caught I caught a ton of fish after that. But as for how were the pros fishing, I went home and watched day three live and day four live, and honestly, they were doing the same exact thing as I as I was. And they caught about the same fish I did too. The only problem was that I never got on enough largemouth. And I just want to say this guys, whenever I broke those two rods, it made my mind just, it sort of got me a little sad, okay? I'm not gonna lie. I mean, think about it. If you lost two rods right in a row, wouldn't you be a little bit sad? But once I got a little bit sad, I started making pretty bad fishing decisions. Like I went to bad spots. I started making bad casts. My accuracy was awful. I will say this, if I would have kept my mental game straight and I, if I'd kept making good decisions like I was at the beginning and the end of the day, I think I could have come in with at least 13, 14 pounds, like no lie. I was throwing the exact right baits in the exact right places, and when I was catching them, I was doing good. It's just that I made a lot of bad decisions that day. But I mean, if I just go out there on the lake and catch them like crazy every time, I'm not gonna learn anything. By making those bad decisions, I learned a lot about fishing, but not only fishing, but about myself. And now hopefully y'all can really see the snow. Like this, th this stuff is wicked, guys. So to answer the question with the title, am I joining the Elite Series? Yes. Yes, I am joining the Elite Series, but it's gonna be closer to, you know, maybe 2038, something like that. Not nearly any time soon, but hey, 2038, I'll be on the radar, guys. Keep your heads up, I'm coming. Scott Martin should be retired by then, and hey, there's my open spot. I'll jump right in his place. I got 19 years to make that happen. <laughs> and I mean, I understand, guys. I know that y'all are probably upset that I didn't get all my fish catches on camera, but like I said, guys, the conditions just, you know, they weren't very good for filming. Next tournament, I promise, guys, I'm gonna try to get a whole lot more footage. Maybe after this, Mother Nature will just say I'm not giving up, you know, just stop snowing or something. That's the plan anyways. Wind chill of 10 degrees out here, and I'm fishing because for some reason in my mind, I think that I'm trying to prove a point to Mother Nature. Why do I not understand it doesn't work like that? What am I doing? It does not work like that, Kendall. Use your brain. Note to self, Mother Nature does not care. But anyways, guys, if you want to send in a fan outro, send it to this email right here. Thanks for watching Kendall Gray's video, guys. If you're not already subscribed, then subscribe. If you're already subscribed, then smash that like button. Kendall Gray is awesome, and Jesus is awesome. And I'll see you next time.